everyone welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make a flame or fire logo animation using adobe after effects so in this video i'm going to use some stock photos like this all of them you can find the download link in video description and you can see here i have already created this animation and now let's see the preview what i will create in this video So this is the animation we are going to make in this video. So first of all you have to download all of the stock photos. I will provide the download link in my video description. First uh, let's import all of these photos in our After Effects. So select all of them from here then drag this to After Effects. I have already imported here so I am not going to import them. So now <coughs> just let's create a new composition. I'm going to close all of my previous composition from here. Go to composition, then create a new composition, and I'm going to rename it to main and 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel size and 30 frame rate per second or 29. And I'm going to use duration 8 second. You can use 5 to 10 if you want. Then hit OK now let's import our texture here so drag this texture and then drag this to below here and select this then click here and make it to lighten or screen i'm going with lighten and then select all of this text and pre-compose them rename it to texture now just select the ellipse tool and draw a circle like this then select this corner and drag this to here and also this corner to here now expand the mask and then go to mask feather increase it okay this is our background now let's create a new text if you want to text or if you want to add logo you can import a logo here uh, for this tutorial i am going to use the text so i am typing here logo and the font i am using is called monsterant you can download this font from search in google so select this and align it to the center and now select this text and pre-compose by the way if you import logo you can also decompose it so that you can replace your logo or text anytime so i'm rename it to logo holder now select move all attributes into the new composition then select ok now select this go to layer then go to the layer style and then select bevel and emboss so you will find something like this then just close it and again select this go to effect and presets and search for gradient ramp apply it to here now select this and click here i am going to make something like this okay now go to project window and let's import our player here so this is the player you can download all of this stuff for us from the link in video description and you can also download this template from the uh, description if you don't want to create just want to replace a logo and make it into then you can just download the template from the link in this video description and it's 50 percent discount for all of you okay now drag the flare to this timeline and then from here select the screen so this is our flare and now drag the fire effect to the timeline also made it to screen and bring this to here when the flare hit this area our fire effect will appear so make it to lighten i think lighten is good for this
okay now select the logo holder go to effect and control and search for linear wipe apply it to this composition and change this wipe angle to 275 make it 100 percent and create a keyframe here and go to around something like this while the fire is completely look like this then make it zero select the linear wipe and make feather to 75 so we can find a feather like this now press U to open all of this keyframe and drag this something like here okay it's look good to me now just add our other footages to the timeline first let's drag the particle dust to the timeline and make it to screen and then particle also make them to screen and then add this nice text here and then add the smoke effect to the timeline make it also screen now you can also add a light ray effect it's up to you you can use it or you if you want you can not uh, you don't use it so select this and make it to add or screen okay select this and adjust its size something like this you can also add the overlay texture here so select this and make it to screen So this is our animation look like this now so we need to add a shake effect here while the flare comes here we need to add a shake effect to add shake effects we'll just select all of the layers and select them make them decompose and rename it to animations don't forget to select mop all attribute to the new comp then hit ok now in here go to effect and control and search for wiggle position and press s from here then make it 107 okay now go to effect control and make it zero now go to this position while the flare touch this area then create a keyframe go to around 3 or 4 frame and make it 1 then again go to 3 frames forward then make it 0 so you can see we add a shake effect here let me show you the preview so you can see this is the shake effect so now you can add your audio here to add this audio go to project into and select the audio then drag to the timeline you can pre-compose it and rename it to audio then select this and hit ok 
now you can also add a cinematic effect here so turn on this title and save action and then go to new and create a new solid and rename it to black bar then hit ok now go to shape and rectangular tool make a shape like this and click the invert or you can add it to the subtract so close this and from here turn off this now let's see the preview so hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure that you have subscribed my channel and share this video with your friend and don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video so i'll back with new video soon and till then take care by the way you can buy this template with 50 percent discount i will provide the link in video description and also you can download all of the stock photos i use in this video from the link in the video description so thank you so much for watching again and bye bye